it was empowering to show other people about my culture. Also, it was very like informative because I learned about a lot of other people. I think it was a good exercise for everyone to learn about each other. How do you feel about computing projects that bring, bring in themes that are personal to you? They wrote about where they're from, what their, what their festivals are, what their food is. So the website was about that, that student's culture. We met with fellow educators across the UK and the US and academics as well to talk about how to make our beautiful subject culturally relevant. Why not make your curriculum accessible? Why not make it, you know, diverse? Why not make it inclusive? We came up with at least nine to ten guidelines that we were happy with, all of us as a group. And then we linked each of the guidelines to the Teach Computing curriculum. And then we were in a position where we came up with something that was suitable and sustainable and that could be shared with schools across the UK. And something that I'm really proud of to be involved in. We know that in computing careers and also in qualifications that there are a number of different groups in society that are really underrepresented, so certain ethnic minorities, females are, are underrepresented in these areas. This idea of culturally relevant pedagogy is a way of trying to engage these different groups, of making computing feel relevant to them and making them feel like they belong to computing as a discipline. History of computer science is normally about British people, um, not really anyone from ethnic minorities that actually do have a really big contribution to computer science. I can't tell you how many times I've been in lessons and all they've done is talk about old white men. Cultural identity traditionally may be associated more with race and ethnicity. However, it's wider than that. It's about applying an intersectional lens to the lived experiences, behaviours, attitudes that young people bring in the classroom and finding ways to capitalise on them to help them thrive in real life. We do do a lot of discussion uh, with the students. I like to discuss things with the students. I like to hear what they've got to say. We all go in the middle of like the classroom and Miss explains it as a class. We all try to answer the questions as a group and like say for example she would give us like a format, like an algorithm and um, we basically answer it together. We're really hoping that these guidelines can form the basis of um, a more discussion-based collaborative approach between teachers and students um, so that they can start having some quite you know, complex and maybe sensitive discussions um, about, about things that really matter to them. And we hope that this can really empower the young people to, to take these conversations out into the world and really feel like they can use technology to achieve their goals and to, to help themselves and to help other people.